pretty good. Good morning, Solid Steppers. This is Miss Ward. I am currently in Jupiter, Florida. I'm headed to North Palm Beach. I have a client there. Just finished with an LG in Jupiter. North Palm Beach, I need to take care of a Samsung. And after that, I have a Sub-Zero to take care of along with a uh, Samsung range. So it's gonna be a very interesting day. Just riding along uh, A1A here in Jupiter to my next location, enjoying the uh, scenery. Just staying relaxed and focused so I can have the best day possible. I'm really not clear about what's going on in front of me because I know that the speed limit has to be over 20 miles an hour, hour out here. But hey, this is what happens when you work your life hard your whole life. You relax and retire. I'm not knocking it. They should be enjoying themselves if you're on vacation. But I said all that to say, you need to order your steps and order your life. Shout out to my uh, brother out in Las Vegas. Great consultation last night. Shout out to uh, a young lady here in uh, South Florida. She actually has a paving company, Cowboy Pavers. We had a great conversation this morning in reference to business credit and PPP. So you need to be well-rounded in business so you have all your resources readily available and you need to keep your paperwork in order so you can win at every turn. So just think about it. When you start a business, you start because you figure you can make money, you can do this, you can do that. But there are, there are cornerstones, there are foundations to that. One, you need to have knowledge and expertise. So this is why in appliance repair, I tell people to focus on one thing. Unless you're working for a company and then doing this on the side with a company, you're going to get the training, you may get the overall exposure, but you should get enough exposure where you can actually choose what you like to work on and then not only be the best at it, think about how you become the best at it. You invest in your training, you invest in the proper equipment to make you more efficient and so that you can diagnose properly from the onset, which cuts down on customer complaints, recalls and of the like. When you're in business, that's how you want to approach it because the reason you got a business is not to get a job. You got a business so you can use it as an American citizen to get all the rights and privileges you should have. You don't want to be one of the people paying 28% taxes and 45% taxes because they don't have a business and they're a serf, man, or a peasant. That's crazy. This is the United States Corporation of America, and you need to structure your things accordingly so you can get those benefits that are laid out for you in the Constitution and in the tax laws. These are facts. Ms. Ward is going to tell you the truth. You don't get in business to play a game. You get a bit in business to reap the rewards, to make money, to invest in cash-flowing assets. That is why we get in business, so that you can have a better life. You can be out here on the beach in Jupiter chilling with everybody else enjoying your best life you know I'm riding by people sitting in cars reading books they just parked by the beach they ain't even out here hey enjoy your life that's what I'm talking about so you need to come up with a plan so you can enjoy your life which means you need to enjoy it on your way to getting there this is why you choose what you like to work on in appliance repair. You devour it. You become very good because what people don't understand, the market is not flooded. People want to say, is this not flooded? Because people always want great customer service and they always want people who know what the hell they're doing. There's never enough of that in any industry or any niche. So be let, let that be you. Then once you get that, you want to make sure that everything around you is structured to your benefit. Your company setup, you know, the way it's structured, the way your cash flows, the way, you know, you build your tax shelters. Like this stuff is not hard. If you can be on YouTube watching me, you can be researching this stuff somewhere. You know, I'm about to run over this little ugly green car from Ohio. I'll tell you that. They need to come on, man. Yeah, but that you can do that. And that's what I mean. That's one of the cornerstones. You want to have that financial uh, fundability in place. Fundability is a very important thing. When you get in business, you study that stuff. And if you don't have anybody to talk to, you can't afford to have Miss Ward, you know, a consultation with me, you go and you research it. 
Google is your best friend, but don't fuck, don't believe the first thing you see. Search many things and cross-reference them and then come up with your plan of attack. That's what you need to do. Oh, nice pen. Oh my goodness. I usually like to peer out and stew it, but that's nice. Points for Jupiter. This is for that probably ain't even Jupiter. That's probably Juno or something. But anyway, getting back to what I was talking about. Um you really want to focus on those things. After you get that, you got to figure out your exit. See, what people don't understand, you need to start the business with the end in mind. Do you have an exit strategy? Is it going to be a legacy business where you're going to have a succession plan for your offspring or little nieces, nephews, or you know things of that nature? Are they interested in the business? If not, do you have a kid or somebody you mentor? I mean, you have to have exit strategies. Are you going to flip and sell the business? Are you going to turn it into a franchise concept? Like, these are grown folks' conversations. This is why Miss Ward don't have time to play with y'all. I am forever looking for opportunity. And a lot of times I spend time by myself because I can't be cluttered with the drama and other people's insignificant problems. I'm going to keep it because if you still worrying about what your neighbor doing, you ain't ready. You ain't ready for the big leagues. You know, and these are facts. We need to be out here getting it, man, all day long. All right, so exit strategy. That So when you develop your business, you need to figure it out. Then you need to understand what your stress level is. Because if you can't deal with the heat, don't build it so big that you're stressed out. Start early on understanding how to utilize VAs. You know, virtual assistants, coaching and training, giving them a script, monitoring what they do, monitoring their calls, having those conversations so you can step away or either just work on the technical part of the business, the part you like. So I'll be telling people, man, you got to understand what you like and then you got to do it really well. And then you got to price it in such a way that it is extremely profitable. It's really not that hard, but it's hard because people don't take the time to reflect. They get caught up in the drama of a customer issue. And I do too. Y'all hear me venting all the time about these trifling ass people that get on my nerves. But at the same time, all I can do is be mad with me because people always give your ass a hint. They tell you who they are, what their intellect is, and their thought process. So right now, I'm going to stop. That's enough game for y'all. I need to get my head in the game so I can go deal with your cousin. And um, I just want to say, if you want a consultation, it's in the description. You want to send me a cash app, it's in the description. Keep your head up, stay focused, and most of all, have a plan. Be blessed.